can also be Wildcat country, though. No, no. I live down there. No. What sucks for you? Better ball. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I must agree. I must agree on that one. Right down on Broadway, baby. Buck Strong's about to step on the scale, folks. I think he weighs in at a slim trim, 195. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here we are, our tag team title match right here at the National Guard Armory, a packed out National Guard Armory, which has made it extremely hot in here. Burning up for everybody. As a matter of fact, I got to lose the hat. Ladies and gentlemen, the tag team champions getting ready to defend their belts against the FOP right here in KCW on a JUN 128370525123. Hit me up, Mike Jones on the low, because Mike Jones is about to blow. Two eight zero three three zero eight zero zero four. Hit Mark Jones up on the low, cause Mark Jones is about to blow, or Mark Strong, I should say. Yes, it's Mike Strong. <laughs> and, and more serious matters on hand here. I, I think Larry D's getting the Barney chan here. They just don't respect true talent when it is in the building. So tag team title match kind of waiting a little bit here. Up next is our big MMA contest between Aftershock and Jared Sloan. Now, all I'm going to say is around the area of Kentucky, I am known as the knockout king, the man who does not want to beat you, just knock you out. And Jared Sloan obviously did not pick me because he's smart or has at least some brains in that thick little skull of his. Truthfully, I would just knock him out. He would have no chance. If I wanted to toy with him, I'd tap him out in 30 seconds, I guarantee it. Jared Sloan, 5 and 0 in the world of MMA. After Aftershock making his debut. All I'm saying is everybody does not, there are some people that know a counter to a guillotine choke Jared Sloan. You can't always go to a guillotine, brother. So here we are. So here we are, we're finally in the ring, ready to go here. After months of, okay, after months of uh, stalling out here, they're finally gonna have a tag team title match. Ladies and gentlemen, the FOP is obviously stalling. They're obviously scared to death. The Lone Wolf Enterprises, TLZR and Larry D. I don't know about that. I, I don't know about that. I, I saw Larry D hugging onto his tag team partner there, staying away from. So yes, finally ready to go here in what could be a major matchup. And I know it's in between uh, intermissions there, reinforcing this ring for all the size in there. If there's anything in that ring, it is size. All four men, very powerful men. And honestly, four men very well traveled in the school of professional wrestling and can get down in that squared circle at any time. Larry D getting the upper hand here early in this contest. Larry D obviously loves the pose of one Mike Strong and he keeps referring back to it 
Mark Strong has nothing else in his move arsenal to get over with the crowd, so now he's probably going to have to retire. <laughs> I have nothing left, people. I'm done. He's taking my <laughs> So now circling here, looking for a lockup. Donnie Green locking up with Larry D, collar and elbow into a headlock dead center of the ring. And Larry D with, Larry D with momentum now off the ropes. And a big shoulder up and over. A very nice sweep frog into a flipping or a front monkey flip again through the legs and a drop kick now Bobby Green or Donnie Green with momentum tagging in Bobby Green now a kick right to the arm a double team off the ropes big double elbow uh oh uh oh And Larry D feeling the effects of that one. I'm back with uh, Chris Grange. Chris, welcome back. It's good to be back. Good to be back, Tiny. I think uh, one Mr. Mike Strong had to get a few words in. And uh, what a crowd we got here, as I mentioned before, outdrawing our competitors from about 60 miles away. Exactly. And they're supposed to be a bigger organization. Well, let me tell you what. If they're supposed to be such a big organization, they should come down here, check out some real wrestling action, real MMA action, see what the people, we give the people what they want to see. And a big clothesline from Bobby Green. Bobby Green with the scoop. Big body slam. And you know, as we mentioned before, that ring was reinforced going into this contest. Yeah, there's a lot of weight in the ring right now. And that thing's got to be able to take some bruises. Contract Tito Zara weighing in at almost 300 and about 80 pounds. A legendary Larry D, a strongman champion here in the Kentucky area, as he traveled up from Destin to do these strongman competitions. And now the FOP on the outside of the ring. Looks like Bobby Blade and Preston Roman's got a shot in over there on Bobby Green. Now he's out on the floor, struggling, trying to get back in. One, two, out at two. Not enough to take down the veteran and Donnie Green. Bobby Green. Wow, let me tell you something. High impact moves, a lot of action. I'll tell you what. I'm starting to think Chris Rage may need to get some wrestling action in sometime. 